Hello, it's Phil Thatch and I'm here in Cambridge Square, which is a, a little shopping and eating complex in zip code 37363 where my family lives. And I'm here at this fountain as the sun's setting over here, uh, making a photograph of it with the sun behind it. And I am shooting at F16, 1 60th of a second, ISO 100. I'm trying to get a sun star in the picture. Really good. I, in this light, I kind of need to look in the EVF to see, which is one of my favorite things about the Z6. You can review the pictures in the EVF. Well, this is the first photo of the day. I did capture the Sun Star. I used a little bit higher shutter speed to get the exposure just right than I documented a moment ago. And then uh, I wish I had put my three-stop neutral density filter on so I could have smoothed this water out some. And I did put it on later, but I never actually used it in a photograph that I published. I wish I had brought my new macro lens. I got some really beautiful all yellow lantana flowers here that I'd love to take pictures of. But I did not bring the right gear for that. And Heather's really fond of these beautiful flowers or plants. I'm trying another shot now, straight at it with the sun setting over there. Manual focus, F16, three stop neutral density, one half second, remote shutter. Do a few of those. Okay, I'm gonna do a few more of those uh, at one tenth of a second. And I might exposure blend some of those. I'm gonna wait for the sun to go down a little further. Hopefully we'll get some nice um, cloud color back that way. Okay, I've let the sun go down a little bit more. I'm gonna do two more exposures. The first one's 1 1.6 seconds. And then I'm gonna speed it up to one, one quarter of, uh, no, let's do one fifth of a second. And then a picture of my hand. And now I'm gonna go see if Heaven and Ale will sell me a beer to go. Beer okay, I'm back from Heaven and Ale, which is right over there on the other side of the square. And I've purchased a Festbrook from Westbrook, West Brook Brewing Company, a pint of 6.5 alcohol by volume beer for only $9, including tip. Seems reasonable. Meanwhile, we're getting a lot more color in the sky. I'm gonna do another exposure blend. This time, two seconds and one sixth of a second. No, I'll just take a picture of my beer. Okay, we're gonna do another exposure blend. This one is 1.6 seconds for the lots of light and a fifth of a second to expose for the sky. So it is I think sun sets tonight at 7.23 and it's 7.01, so pretty soon it should start really setting off. There's, there's pretty good clouds back there for, a, for maybe a good looking sunset, I hope. So we shall see. I'm shooting at F16. My focus point's right here on this rim of the fountain, which is probably 15 to 18 feet away from the, from the camera, so that's that's leaving everything pretty much in focus at F16. If I was trying to get this perfectly sharp, which is in the picture, this where my foot is, uh, I might need to focus stack, but I'm gonna let it be just slightly out to keep the whole thing, because I'm already having to exposure blend. I don't wanna exposure blend and focus stack. Okay, so I'm, I'm reviewing uh, one of the pictures with detail in the fountain where the sky's blown out, just to kind of check the focus that I just talked to you about. And the fountain is in perfect focus. And looking down at the bottom of the frame, the, the rock work at the very bottom of the fountain, the closest thing to me is acceptably in focus. So F16 has lots of depth of field on this 2470 F2.8G non-VR. So just enjoying my Festbrook by Westbrook and waiting for the light to get a little bit better by the fountain and enjoying Heather's company. I think at some point as the, as the uh, sun sets, this fountain is, 
has lights on it and in it. I really, looking at it, I can't see them, but I'm pretty sure I remember seeing some lights in this fountain. I've actually uh, made a photograph of this fountain before and sold it to the folks here at Cambridge Square that they use in a lot of their advertising. Okay, we're doing it again. We're up to three seconds on the bright shot. And one third of a second on the dark shot. Okay, it's getting dark enough now. I'm gonna take that three stop filter off. Probably should have done that a long time ago, huh? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Dust all over that thing. So now without the filter, the bright shot is one over 1.6, which I think converts to one eighth of a second. The dark shot with sky detail. I think I'm gonna use one thirtieth of a second for that. I think it looks cool with the manual focus. Yeah, the uh, focus peaking makes the water fountain water look red. Kind of neat. I continued doing these two shot exposure blends until finally at four seconds exposing for the fountain and a half a second for the sky, I finally ran into one that I actually liked enough to edit and post. And here is that. I really like the way this turned out. It's such a beautiful place, Cambridge Square and you should visit someday. It is six minutes after sunset and we've got some LED lights coming on here on the fountain and they will be in the shot. And as you can see, there's lights down here in the fountain. And I, I think if I remember correctly, there may be some lights up here too, but I'm not seeing any just yet. Okay, so this will be the first shot with the lights on and the, the shot where I get plenty of light on the fountain itself is five seconds now with no filter. Still about the same when looking at the sky, a quarter of a second. A lot of the better YouTube photographers like Adam Gibbs and Thomas Heaton have started sharing RAW files. So I decided to try that out. And these are the two files, a 30 second exposure to expose the fountain and a 1.3 to expose the sky. And here is what happened when I combined those two and did uh, lots of other editing with various graduated filters and things of that nature. What a beautiful night it was at Cambridge Square and I just loved that fountain and, and enjoyed my time there. Okay, I met a new friend named John here at Cambridge Square while we were doing our fountain shots. And John is into uh, exploration of uh, kind of pirate treasures. Am I saying that right? Yeah. Yep. And what is this that you're showing us here? This is a um, eight real. And this is from the um, Basically, it's from the, uh, the Concepcion uh, off the Gulf Coast of Mexico. Um, just treasure. If you get out there, you can find treasure. You just got to get off the couch. That's awesome. Is, now, is that is that solid silver? Is that what that's it's made? Solid of? silver, yeah. That is completely awesome. They they hammered it. This may be the may be the coolest piece of metal I've ever held. And what you see on this side here to confirm that eight reality is that there is an actual eight. Um, I think right there, somewhere right there. You can see it's a half eight, but. Gotcha. Okay. Super dark, so this is probably all grainy, but I'm gonna hold it up here. Maybe you can tap the screen, Heather, and get that yeah, to focus. Yeah, got it in focus. Okay, let's do the other side. Yep. Awesome, so you've got a YouTube channel? I do. And it's called? AU Expeditions. AU Expeditions. You never know who you're gonna meet while you're out making pictures. Yeah. Awesome, thanks man. Here is another raw file. This is much later. This is a single image. 30 seconds was correct for the sky and kind of correct for the fountain. Heather and I stood about 10 feet apart with a camera directly in the middle of us and shined our cell phone flashlights at the fountain to light it up. And this is the edited version. Uh, more graduated filter work on this one to uh, get the sky looking amazing without messing up the rest of the picture. I really like the way there's uh, nice stars on the lights all over the place and it's just beautiful at Cambridge Square. All right, well, that's gonna do it from Cambridge Square here in zip code 37363. Had a lot of fun. Uh, hopefully um, some of those shots will come out. Some of them I think I'm gonna blend. Other ones I think I may just do as a single shot. Kind of all the same composition, but uh, it might be interesting to see how it changes as the sun goes down. So thanks for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.